We need to look at albedo and emissivity. Now what is albedo? This is a measure of how much radiation is reflected. Emissivity is a measure of how much radiation is emitted. So let's define albedo. The word al albedo comes from the Latin for white. And it's uh, the albedo of a body is the ratio of the power of the radiation reflected or scattered from the body to the total power incident on the body. So you see here from this ratio, if it has an albedo of 0.5 or 50%, half of the total incident power will be reflected. If you have an object which is very light coloured or very white, it's going to have a, an albedo of 0.9 or 0.95. 95% of the total incident power will be reflected. When you're wearing a light surf dude t-shirt compared to a heavy metal Celine Dion uh, My Heart Will Go On black t-shirt, which one is going to be reflecting most radiation? Well, the sun comes and shines on the, the surf dude t-shirt and uh, since it's light coloured, most of the radiation will be emitted, so you would have a high albedo of 0 0.9, 0 0.8 or something like that. For the heavy metal Celine Dion t-shirt, the radiation is instant is the same, but very much less radiation is reflected because it's absorbed, that's why it's so dark. Now what this basically means is that the person wearing the white t-shirt will stay cool, and the person wearing the Celine Dion heavy metal t-shirt will start to heat up. So light objects have a high albedo, dark objects have a low albedo. Now, in terms of our planet, what are the factors that determine the planet's overall? The Earth's albedo varies depending on, for example, cloud formations and latitudes. The oceans are dark and they have a low albedo value which means they're good absorbers, but not good reflectors. Snow, on the other hand, is light coloured, has a high value, 0 0.84, which means it's a good reflector, which means it doesn't absorb very much radiation. The global annual mean albedo is about 0.3, 30%. So it means that 30% of the, the radiation that falls on the Earth is reflected. So in other words, 70% is absorbed. Now what would happen to the global mean albedo if the amount of snow in the solar caps is reduced? So what would happen to the overall value? Well, the albedo is reduced basically because you will get less snow and more oceans. So you get less of the substance that had a high albedo and more of the substance that had a low albedo, which means that effectively more radiation from the sun would be absorbed. Now we look at emissivity. This is how well an object is able to emit radiation compared to a perfect emitter, an ideal emitter, which is called a black body. Now the black body is not really to do with the optical colour of an object. The colour that we see is in a very narrow band of radiation. The visible part of the spectrum is a tiny amount of the overall electromagnetic spectrum. So you don't always have to take that as being an indication of how well it emits. So the emissivity is the power emitted by radiation compared to what it would be if it had been a black body, or in other words, a, a perfect emitter. So let's compare different surfaces. Generally, light things have a low emissivity and dark things have a high emissivity. For example, we have, we have kettles light coloured so that they're able to emit less radiation. However, it's not just to do with the optical colour. For example, the emissivity of cold is 0 0.95. The emissivity of ice is even greater, which is 0 0.9. So it actually emits more radiation. So it's a piece of ice is closer to a black body than coal, which is basically a black body. Um, and the reason for that is that infrared is actually much darker than coal in the infrared part of the spectrum. But of course, we don't see that. We just see uh, this narrow band in the visible spectrum. And this is the equation where we look at um, applying the E, the emissivity. P is the power emitted, 
which is um, by the object. E is the emissivity. Of course, sigma is the the constant that goes with the Maxwell-Boltzmann equation here.